no surprise, we have a bunch more vintage to go through. Um, various sellers, various purchases, various venues. Um, again, screaming deals on all this stuff. Um, found a perfect example of what I'm talking about when getting good deals on vintage. Because um, they still left the price on this one. So this is a 1968 Tops Frank Robinson in a five and a half. So they originally had 45. So they're probably selling at a show. You know, and as you know, show you can negotiate a little bit, but you're still going to pay a little bit. I ended up getting it for fourteen dollars. So that's the type of negotiation deals I'm talking about when buying vintage. So just an example. I'm not going to go overpriced on everything. Um, just an example of kind of what I talk about when I say try and really get the good deals and, and build that margin in. So I'll move some of these out of the way. I'll go one stack at a time. So obviously 68 tops, Frank Robinson, a five and a half. 61 Kofax and a six. 55 K-Line and a three. A 48 Bob Feller and a two and a half. 58 Tops Mickey Mantle All Star and a three. 62 Tops Joe Torre Rookie Card and a five. 72 Tops Carlton Fisk and a four. Rookie Card. Billy Williams 61 Tops Rookie Card and a five. 60 tops, Gil Hodges, and a three. 58 tops, Koufax, and a two. 55 Bowman Hodges, and a three. 63 Fleer, Koufax, and a four. 62 Clemente, and a four. 59 Clemente and a four. 62 tops, Koufax and a four. And that is just the first stack. Next stack. Sixty tops Koufax and a three and a half. <coughs> Sixty-four tops Dick Allen. At BCCG 7. So, grade's lower than that, but it was dirt cheap. 63 tops, Bomber's Best with Mantle, a 6. 67 tops, Carlton, and a 5. 63 tops, Billy Williams, and a 6. 51 Bowman, Al Rosen, and a 4. 65 tops Koufax and a four. 63 Fleer Koufax and a seven. Another 65 Koufax and a four miscut. 58 Koufax and a two and a half. 67 tops Mantle and Barra and a two. 41 double play, Newsom and Greenberg in a one and a half. 63 Fleer, Koufax in a three and a half. And 60 tops, Koufax in a six. And we're halfway through. So we have 58 tops, Koufax, and a two. 58 Mays and a three. 58 Aaron, white name, and a three. 68 tops, Johnny Bench, rookie card, and a three. 60 tops, Clemente, and a three. Borderline vintage here. Uh, 82 Ripken rookie and an eight. 
67 tops Aaron in a six miscut. Sixty one tops Koufax, a GAI six. Fifty nine tops Aaron in a six. Sixty Brooks Robinson in a six. Fifty eight Aaron again in a five. Sixty two Aaron in a five. Another 59 Aaron and a five and a half. 59 Mays and a five and a half. Another 63 Bombers Best with Mantle, this time in a five. A 61 Tops Koufax and a six. And what do you know? Now it's a 61 tops Koufax and a two. 50, 58 Clemente and a two and a half. 64 tops Robin, Frank Robinson and a three. 55 Bear and a four. 58 Mays and a two. 66 tops Clemente and a four. 56 tops Willie Mays Grayback and a two. 59 tops Frank Robinson and a two. 62 Clemente and a two and a half. Another 59 Frank Robinson. Seven, miscut. 61 Mays and a four. Going back good ways now. 35 Diamond Stars, Rick Farrell and a two. Red Sox action there. 39 Play Ball, Harry Danning and a seven. 62 tops, Frank Robinson, and a two. There's a big boy right here. 43 MP and Company, Joe DiMaggio, and a two. For a hand cut, that's pretty darn good. So Jolt and Joe. First ever Joe DiMaggio card. We have another 61 Tops Maze, this time in one and a half. 64 Tops Willie Maze and a four. And lastly, Roberto Comente, or sorry, Bob Comente. 65 Tops in a four. So that is the Hall of Vintage. Obviously the highlight of the whole thing is the Joe DiMaggio, 1943, hand cut. So, that's the vintage haul I recently put together. Hope you enjoyed the example that I gave in the beginning um, of the deals I'm talking about. Hope you enjoyed the variety of different players and Hall of Famers in this giant stack of slabbed cards. And I hope you have a good one. So until next time, collect what you enjoy. Enjoy what you collect. And don't let anybody, especially the market, dictate that to you. And most importantly, have fun with this hobby. It is a ton of fun. You know, buying and selling, chatting, making videos, going to shops, going to shows, talking with friends and family. You know, there's a tremendous opportunity in this community because it is a great community that can offer a huge amount to you if you let it and if you're willing to put the same back into it. 
So that's all I got for now. I hope you have a good one. And bye for now.